I'm back for a review. I worked my way through the Coffin Joe trilogy. Uh, this is this is this guy is a real character. Um, Jose Marins is a self-taught, um, by your bootstraps, independent director in grew up in Brazil, and uh, created this iconic character Coffin Joe with the long nails and the top hat and the overcoat. Um, out of his vivid imagination back in, well, the first film was in 1964, um, At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul. Uh, fascinating, interesting film, and it was made at a time when um, Brazil was under military rule. It really didn't take too kindly to subvert some material like this. The whole concept of the film was it's an anti-religion, amoral message a coffin joe in the film this first film is uh his first thing he does is thumbs his nose up at holy friday which is a catholic tradition where you don't eat meat and he pointedly goes out and eats meat and uh, the eating the meat turns him into this amoral crazy guy that thinks he's superior to everyone else and um you know he can do what he like. Anybody that anybody that's religious or has any moral convictions is inferior, uh, and he doesn't mind killing them off in the film. Uh, the main premise of the film is is he wants to uh, continue his bloodline since he's a superior individual. He's looking for a female worthy enough to carry his child and continue his bloodline. But basically, the theme of my bloodline must continue really runs through the whole trilogy it's just a continuation of that whole theme uh, he's a weird dude um, a very eclectic eccentric dude he grew these long they actually grew these long nails and he and he's still in some in the interviews in this film even at 80 years old the some of the interviews and the special features he's still got those nails uh, they're kind of gross looking, but uh, I don't know how he wipes his ass, but uh, that's all I could think about, unfortunately. is how, Dude, how do you wipe your ass with those things? But I don't know. I, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, the films are interesting, and um, you got to give him his you got to give him his tropes for producing material like this. Um, against you know under really without government sponsorship and and really probably to be persecuted by government as uh uh you gotta admire his uh intestinal fortitude the second film didn't come out until like four years later uh this night i'll possess your corpse and it's and it's really kind of this it's the same thing it's um it's it's coffin joe has come back Although there is a continuity problem there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how in the world Coffin Joe survived the first film because he looked, he looked deader than Kelsey's nuts in the, at the end of the first film. So I don't know how. It almost, to, to me, the way I saw it, maybe you guys if that have seen it might feel differently, but it almost was portrayed as maybe uh, that he had just dreamt his death. <clears throat> Anyway, he's back in he's back in the second film, and uh, it's the same drill. He's basically trying to find a woman to continue the bloodline, so he puts them through a number of ordeals with snakes and spiders to test their test their uh, mental toughness and whether they're actually uh, worthy to continue the bloodline and have his baby. That that's really the the premise of the film now it is an interesting really awesome interesting sequence in that second film where uh he dreams he's in hell and the whole film which is shot in black and white first two films are in black and white he he's it's a full color kaleidoscope of very rich colors as envisioned of hell as envisioned by uh jose marins so very interesting a lot of nudity um yeah, so it's, uh, in fact, I think the film was banned. Uh, he couldn't get it released. Uh, so, yeah, he, after that, 
um, you know, he was his persona non grata with the government, so he ended up, I think, doing sexploitation films and whatever he could do, odds and ends, to try to make a living. But he did create this iconic character. The final film of the trilogy wasn't made until 2006, and uh, it's more the same, uh, only with higher production values, really good-looking women, lots of nudity, lots of snakes, lots of spiders, and um, you know it's, it's the same deal. It's really an, a for, the the theme of I need to continue my bloodline because I'm a superior person uh, is is pretty much the main plot storyline of all three films. Uh, it's a little preachy too. I mean, it gets a little tedious listening to how wonderful he is. The character of saying, "Hey, I'm wonderful," and everyone that doesn't believe that, uh, everyone that clings to religion is beneath me i mean yeah we, we get it i got it after the first film i don't know that i need to be pounded on the head uh three times with it but uh, you know it, it 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 didn't wear out its welcome it, it came close to wearing out its welcome but it didn't uh so i would recommend these three there's a fourth film he did other films where he was the coffin joe character makes a cameo and uh I want to see Awakening of the Beast, which was a 1960s film that he made that that was also was banned and couldn't. You know, after that, he really couldn't get any work. Uh, apparently, that's a real psychedelic trip. Some of these these films have, particularly the second and third film, you start seeing more of the um, sex, drugs, psychedelic kind of um, nightmarish vision type stuff that. Uh, he started to get into but yeah i mean these are interesting films and quite honestly for someone that learned how to make movies just watching movies he grew up um in a small flat at a theater where his father worked so he he really taught himself making movies by watching movies he does a good job and he's created a very iconic character so i enjoyed it for what it was i'd give it a seven out of ten all three of the films so yeah, that's Synapse's release of Coffin Joe Trilogy, and uh, if you haven't seen Coffin Joe, you definitely need to check him out. He's an interesting, interesting dude. All right, thanks for watching.